using the quick calculator. Let's learn how we can use the quick calculator while we are creating our geometry. For starters, let's put a few objects down. I'll go ahead and create a circle. I'll activate the line command, make a line like that, and maybe one going across this way. I'll go ahead and hit space to cancel out the line command. And let's make a rectangle right here. Now, let's say I want to put a circle that's right in the center of this rectangle. Now, how do I do that with the quick calculator? I can go ahead and activate the circle command. And before I specify the center point of the circle, I can go ahead and right click and go to quick calculator. And this time I'm going to use this here, MEE. -E. I will double click it. And I picked the wrong one. So you can go ahead and delete that and make sure to select the MEE, -E, which stands for the midpoint between two endpoints. I'll go ahead and hit apply. I'll pick this corner here, come down and pick the other corner here, and now I'm at the midpoint between those two endpoints. And I can specify the center of my circle right at the center, right there. Now I'm going to create another rectangle. I'm going to place it right here, and I want to align the bottom of this rectangle to this line that I created earlier. So I'll have to go ahead and rotate it. Let's go ahead and activate the rotate command. AutoCAD is asking me to select the objects to rotate. I'll pick this one. I'll right click to finish that command. Now I have to specify the base point. I'll go ahead and pick this end point here. And now it's asking me to get the angle. Well, in order to find that, I can right click, go to the quick calculator, and I can use this symbol here that says the angle of line defined by two points. If I select that, I can pick this point and then one more point up here. And now I have the angle. I can go ahead and apply. And as you can see, the angle is here into the command line. All I have to do is press enter to accept that value. And there you go. I've aligned my rectangle to this line here by using the quick calculator and also learn how to put a circle between the two midpoints.